Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Rabo. I'm a Microsoft Power Platform developer and a Dynamics 265 CRM developer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export and import a Power Automate flow manually. Don't forget to like this video and hit on the subscribe button. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to the flow we plan to export by clicking on my flows. And then in this video, we are going to be exporting the populate employee record. So I'm just going to click on it. And then at the top, I'm going to click on export, then click on package. So we are waiting for the page to load. So on this particular place, I'm just going to name the flow. There's no need for this. This is optional. And then we are going to scroll down to where we have our review package content. On the import setup of it, we are going to change it from updates to create as new. So on import setup, we have two options. We have create as new where we can create the flow as new to the environment when imported, or we can use updates where there is already an existing flow. You just want to import the flow to update what we already had in that environment. So for this video, we are going to be using create as new. And if you have any questions on this, you can ask them on the comment section. Thank you. So I'm going to click on save and click on export. We're not going to be making any changes on these related resources. We're just going to go ahead and click on export. So your package is, is now downloading. If the download doesn't start automatically, click here. But we already have it downloaded, so that's perfect. So I'm going to go to the environment we are importing our flow. So if there's one thing to notice from this video is that I'm using different environments. On this environment, I'm using Rachel, Rachel Irabos environment. And in the other environment, I'm using Power User. And they are all on the same account. So one thing to notice is that even though you are using different tenants, you can also use this method for, a ex for exporting and importing a flow manually. So the next thing to do now in our other environment is to click on my flows and then click on import and click on import package legacy. So I'm going to click on upload, click on this, then click on open. So we are waiting for it to load. Okay, so you can see the changes we made when exporting. So the import setup here is create as new. So when we scroll down, we have like an error notification here. So how can we resolve this? We have to click on select during imports. And if I had a connector, like a connection for SharePoint and Excel, because the connectors I'm using on this flow are Excel for business and Excel online for business and also Excel and also SharePoint. So, but right now on the Excel for business, I have no connector for it. So I just have to click on create new. But if I did, I just had to click on it here and then click on save. So let's make changes to that. So it's very important you know which connectors you are using on your flow. It's going to help you. So now I'm going to click on new connections, search for Excel and click on Excel business, click on create. 
So the next thing is going to do is to ask me to sign in. Okay. So the connection has been added. So let's go back to our flow and refresh the list. So you can see this is showing now. If I had this already, I did not have to go to create new. So I'm going to click on it now and click on save. We are going to be doing it for the next connection, which is the SharePoint connection. So if you have forgotten what connection you are using, you can see them here on your resource type. So now we are going to click on select doing import, click on create new. So we're waiting for the page to load. Click on, no, we are using, let's just go back. We are using SharePoint. So I'm just going to search for it here. We're going to click on new connection first, then click on SharePoint. So click on create. Then click on your account. Perfect. So I'm going to come here and click on refresh list, click on this, click on save, then click on import. Okay, so we're waiting for it to import, let's scroll up. So it's showing an error message that import failed for one more package resources. And let us see what possible ways can make it fail. So next steps, one or more resources didn't import, see the error details to resolve the issues and try importing again. One or more resources might have been skipped during the import. See the import details to find out which resources were created, updated or skipped. Okay, so another thing is that import field. To import this flow, you will need to save it as a new flow first. Okay, so let's click on save as a new flow. And this happens. So when you see this happens, don't be scared that there's something wrong. So let's see what's the reason why we had this error message. It's saying that the provided flow name contains invalid characters. So let's go to our flow. By clicking on my flows, clicking on that particular flow, clicking on the edit icon to see where the issue is coming from. So we are just trying to solve all the possible scenarios we can have when exporting and importing a flow. So we are going to click on Excel to see where the issue is coming from. It's definitely not coming from here. So we are going to scroll down. Click on create item. Okay. So where is this issue coming from that we are having an error? So let's click on save. When we click on save, it's showing that definition contains invalid parameters, which is the same thing we had in our error message here. So let's come back to the flow and resolve it. And from our flow checker, we have it that the gender value is no longer present in the operation schema. It should be removed before the workflow is resaved. So it means that that particular field or column has been deleted. So let's remove that because if I try, let's try placing it again to see if maybe there's another, there's a reason for it. Let's try looking for it on, on our dynamic content. This is it here. Let's try saving we still have the same issue so let's remove it and click on save so our flow is saving perfect so let's try to clear everything we have here just to make it easier for us to navigate so the what is going to happen now is that we have to export the flow again so I'm going to click on this back icon, click on exports, click on package. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and repeat the same step we did for the exporting by giving it a name, which is populate employee record. And then we have to scroll down and change this import setup from updates to create as new. Click on save and then click on export. So we have it here. So let's open another Power Automate page. So you can see from this place, your package is now downloading. If the download doesn't start automatically, click here. So we already seen that it has downloaded. So we are going to come to this place, which is for our Power User Environment. So don't forget, we have we are using different environments. This is Rachel Rabo's environment, and this is Power Users Environment. So we are going to go to My Flows, click on Import, click on Import Package Legacy. And then click on Upload. Click on our last download, click on open. Okay, so we are waiting for it. And then we are going to scroll down and click on seller during import. So you can see this is different. We are no longer creating from new this time. We are just going to directly click on the connection because it has already been created. Click on save, do the same thing for this, click on save, then click on import. So we are waiting for it. So you can see all package resources was successfully imported. The flow has been created successfully. Run the flow to make sure it's working, which is perfect. So you can see the error message we had before. We no longer have it right now because the error was coming from the flow, which we have fixed. So now let's click on open flow to see the flow in the new environment. So you can see from this place, we are on the power users environment and this is the flow that we have created. So if you can see from this power automate, we have our copilot chats at the right hand side of the screen. If you want to change your, if you want to change your design from the, if you want to change your power automate design from the new design to the old design, which is called the classic design, you can check out my video where I showed how to where I showed how to switch to a classic designer in Power Automate. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.